What to do with a child's book that's treasured but tattered? Turn it into a storybook banner and they can continue to enjoy it for years to come. This tutorial is sponsored by favecrafts.com. I'm using a chipboard triangle as a template. You can make the triangles any size you'd like, as long as they're all uniform. I'm tracing the triangle onto each page because I want Curious George on every pennant so the kids can play a seek and find game with him. If you aren't picky about the image on each pennant, you can rip out a stack of pages and cut them all out at once using a paper cutter and that will save you a little time. I chose to cut 12 triangles, but you can make more or less. Just make sure that your bias tape will be long enough for all your pennants, with some extra tape left at each end for hanging. I want the banner to be durable, so I'm adding a coat of Mod Podge to each triangle. Lay down newspapers or magazines to keep your work surface clean. Spread the Mod Podge on thinly with a foam brush. If you make it too thick, the paper will wrinkle. You don't need to spread it on the top quarter inch of paper, because that's where your bias tape will go. You can add coins or other weighted objects to the upper corners to keep the paper from curling. Be sure not to put the coins on top of the Mod Podge because they will stick there when it dries. Allow the front of the triangles to dry completely. Then flip them over and add Mod Podge to the back as well. The Mod Podge will thicken the paper and add a nice shine. Make sure the Mod Podge has dried completely before moving on to the next step. Lay a piece of fabric or a pillowcase on top of the pennants. Use a cold iron to smooth the paper out flat. Do not plug the iron in. Now stack the pennants in the order you'd like them sewn. Measure about 12 inches in from the end of a piece of standard bias tape. This extra tape is for hanging. Pin your triangles between the layers of bias tape. Make sure your pin is poking in and out of the bias tape and not the paper. You don't want holes showing on your triangles. Then sew slowly directly on top of your bias tape. Using a sewing machine is fastest, but you could also hand sew this. This Curious George book was given to my oldest child by grandma. Two kids later, the binding is ruined, but the book can now enjoy new life as a storybook banner. This tutorial was sponsored by favecrafts.com. For more project ideas and tutorials, visit madebymarzipan.com.